Hey, I'm really excited to share our new beta version of our Airtable integration. So let me show you how it works. I'm just going to go to the data sources page and then I'm going to click on account connections. So there's this new Airtable section and I'm going to click connect to Airtable. So you'll get this fairly standard authorization screen. You're going to have to go through and determine which uh, which of these workspaces and things like that you're going to let Frontly have access to. In my case, I can select all, uh, which, is, which is more convenient, and then I'm going to click Grant Access. So now I'm back in Frontly, and I'm authorized with my Airtable. So if I go to the Linked Sources and then click Add Data Source, I can now select my Airtable option. So I'm going to click on that. And we're actually going to load a list of my existing Airtable bases. And so I'm going to click on this e-commerce base. And then I'm going to see a list of my tables in that base. So I'll choose my products and I'm going to click import. So we've imported it. That's great. Now, this is the name of the base and this is the name of the table. I can rename it, but that's how it defaults. So it's all good, just like a regular... Uh, Frontly data source. And then if I go add a page, I'll call this Airtable products. Now I can just use it like any other data source. So I can go to my products and I can add filters and all of that. But if I go to my live app right now, we should see that my table should load with my awesome Airtable data. So um, by default, I just have, yeah, I have some generic data here. I can still edit it and do everything else as usual. Um, right now, because it's still in beta mode, we're still developing it. Um, there are all the standard features are working. So creating records, editing records, deleting records, and viewing a list. We also have filters and sorting, uh, which should be working. So if I want to sort by the name of the customer alphabetically or a status or, or a number or something like that, that's all working and hidden filters are also working. So um, there are a few things, I think visible filters I'll have to double check on, and then uh, relational data and a few things like charts and stat blocks are not implemented yet. But I just wanted to share this. We're really excited to continue developing new data source integrations. So um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, let us know what uh, database or data source you want us to integrate next. Thanks.